Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave. Welcome back to the wee hours where I suffer from periodic bouts of insomnia and play games to pass the time. We are back failing miserably at out of reach pirate survival game. In the last episode, we learned a very important lesson. We can take out three out of four tigers, which is a very respectable ratio, I must say, because, well, how many tigers have you killed today? I've done three out of four. But the problem with the fourth one is that in dying, we lost all our materials. So I've been scavenging around a little bit off camera, and I've managed to recreate my axe that I had before. So we've got our axe back, which is nice. But now we've been tasked with creating a bow, which means we need a whole lot of linen rope, which means we need a whole lot of this flax fiber. So I'm gonna just sort of scavenge around, get as much of this as possible so we can get on the next part of our mission, which is going hunting. It sounds fun, but we're gonna need a lot of this to get started. Okay, not so bad. Didn't actually have to go very far from that. There was a whole bunch of flax. Oh, there's still some left over, actually. There was a whole bunch of flax right on the beach here. Beach seems to be a good area for this. I'll have to remember that in the future, because I'm sure this linen rope is going to come up again and again and again. But we did gather enough to make our bow, which lives... Where did that live? That lives over here. Nope, that lives over here. So we've got just enough to make our bow. 30 wood, 4 linen rope. Go ahead and make that thing. Okay, done that. Now what's the next move? Probably some arrows, if I remember correctly. Yes, arrows. And what do we need? We probably need wood for that. Let's check. Arrow. Yeah, what a surprise. A whole bunch of wood. How many of these can we actually make right now without having to go scavenge more wood? And I'm making two at a time, which is nice. Uh, apparently that's it. All right, so I'm going to scavenge. I, I don't think two arrows are going to really be good enough for me to be an effective hunter, knowing my skill level. I'm just going to... Oh, is that a rhino? That That's a rhino. Stay away from the rhino. Grab the flaxseed, but stay away from the rhino. All right, so I'm going to scavenge up some more wood and make some more arrows and see what the next step is. And then the other thing that I wanted to do before we go hunting is we can use our new chest to store some of our materials. So let's do all of the wood can go live there. And well, I'll just see if we need those in a second. Uh, this can definitely go in there, as can these rocks, just so we don't have to go scavenging again if we happen to die, which we probably will. Okay, what is our next objective here? Make bandages. Well, gosh darn it. All right, let's go get that back out of inventory. Here we go. Okay. See, I like I like this game's logic. You know, oh, oh, Rhino, Rhino, hang on, hang on, everyone. Rhino. Yep. Yep. Rhino, don't see me. I'm moving. Uh, why did I build my house here? Casa Dave is not situated well. And we're backing off. Yeah, I like this game's logic of prepare for the hunt. Not only do you create a weapon, but just go ahead and create the bandages because you're going to need them. That, that's, that's sensible. That's a sensible thing to do. Now, about those bandages, what can we do about that? Where do bandages live? Bandages, there we go. Yeah, we can create some of these. Absolutely. Create one of those. Okay, yeah, I'll get to that in a second, because I've got a bunch of level ups that I'm sitting on right now. Okay, so actually, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Oops. Why not? Okay, what do we got points in? Hunter, well, good. Good, absolutely. Melee damage against animals is up. And trapper, range damage. Well, we're going hunting, so let's bump that up. Yes. And then we can take some other points in that later. That seems like a really good tree to be going down. Uh, points in smithing. Sure, I don't really care that much. Point of that. What does this one do? Durability. Okay, that's that's sensible. Yeah, let's, let's bump that up a little bit. Points in logger. This is just extra stuff. So point of that. And point of that. And why not a point of that while we're in the neighborhood? Builder. Uh, remind me what builder does. Upgrade the builder's desk. Decrease building costs. Well, that seems pretty good. Let's do that. And 
chance to decrease building repair costs. Well, we haven't suffered any damage yet. I'm sure we probably will, but let's just take this constructor thingamajiggy here. One in miner, let's just get more materials. One in gatherer, we'll get some more materials. Okay, is that all our points spent? Alrighty, excellent. What are we supposed to be doing now? Go hunting. Hunt down an animal. Okay. Oh, apparently we already crossed the gather resources part of the equation when we were skinning all those tigers. Alright, so... Hunt down an animal. Look for easy prey on grassy meadows. Beware of carnivores. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Three out of four tigers. No kidding. So if we equip our bow now... How do we actually use that? Hold left to draw the bow, right mouse to zoom. All right, let's just give that a test shot. Oh, I need to equip arrows. Well, you, you didn't think I might have just automatically done that, maybe, game? Maybe I just would have automatically done that. All right, and so that's zooming, is it? That's not a lot of zoom there. Uh, okay. Anything I can actually take a shot at that isn't a rhinoceros? No? Alright, well, how about this tree? Yay. Okay, well... Can I go get that arrow? No, that arrow is gone forever. Okay. Alright, well, let's go find something to shoot. Hey, that looks like something right there. After I gather all this stuff. All right, I got a zebra dead ahead of me, and if he just wants to hold... Oh, he didn't hold still. Oh, you'll do. Did I hit you? I have no idea if I hit you. Dramatic music is on, so I'm assuming I hit something. This is not a surprise to me that I'm failing at hunting. At all. Yeah, you could probably chill on the dramatic music. That guy's long gone. That zebra coming back anytime soon? Oh, and there's a time limit on how long you can hold the bow drawn. Huh, interesting. Well, not that interesting, really. Okay. Come back, antelope. I think this is going to be a very long hunt. All right, stalking my prey here. Stalking my prey. You know what I don't have? I don't have any idea what the range is on this bow. Oh! Dang it. Dang it. I should have made more arrows. This is going to be a problem. Come on. Stalking. Stalking. He has effectively disappeared. There he is. All right, let's just see if we can just catch up to him a little bit. I have no idea what the range is on these arrows and if I'm actually going to be able to... All right, that seems like a decent shot. Oh! He keeps moving. Come on, one more. I have no idea if I'm even hitting him. I have no clue. I have zero idea if I'm hitting this guy. He doesn't seem like he's fussed about anything. Oh, he's seen me. He's seen me. Eh, fire it anyway. What the heck? Come on. Just... Oh, are you stopping? I actually can't tell. Ah! Just, I don't know if I'm hitting this guy. I, I mean, I'm hearing a sound like a thwack, but I don't know if that's actually hitting him, and i am got to be about to run out of arrows. You know what? I'm, I'm going to try a slightly different tactic that won't work, but I'm going to try it anyway. The, the um, beating them to death with the axe. Hi! Yeah, you can run all you want. I'm going to find you. I've had a decent, nice sleep. I've got a lot of endurance. I can absolutely run after you. Unless you run into a tiger, which would be bad. Eh. Okay, this may not be working out either. Chopped down a bunch of trees and made a whole bunch of arrows and... I think my hunt may take on a slightly different tactic, which is, I wonder if I get quest, you know, satisfaction for killing a tiger. 
because my record with gazelles is zero. My record with tigers is three out of four. And this guy will just basically charge right at me. So we know that's going to work out okay. In fact, I, I'm actually kind of, he's kind of lost me. He's lost interest in me. So if we just sort of poke our head over here and actually let's not be in sneak mode actually let's not be sneaky let's just shoot him yeah because he'll stand still this is the trick here he'll stand still and go what the heck's going on somebody's shooting me All right, where did he go wow tigers really are good at hiding in the long grass These arrows are falling way short. You, just, you basically just got to get right up on top of them. Hi. Now, if we just quickly switch over to our axe. I... Ah! Because the game does not pause while you're in the inventory screen. And I knew that too, I knew that. And I took that chance anyway, that was silly. I think the plan is solid though. I think the plan is solid. Tiger found me, the tiger found me, the tiger found me. Oh, okay, we got him. Does that not count as going hunting? Cause that's not fair. I'm up to four out of five tigers right now. Does that really not count at all? What is my quest objective? Uh, wrong one. Hunt down an animal. I just did. Y you, you mean like a prey animal, don't you? <sighs> all right. Well, at least I can get all of this guy's stuff. Hide, meat, bone, fat, fat, hide, meat, bone. I was trying to craft my new bow because I've lost my bow when the tiger surprised me, but apparently killing a tiger doesn't count as hunting. I think that should really count as hunting. I think that should super count as hunting. Apparently not. All right, back to making the new bow. I noticed that in killing, or rather in the uh, quest objective, rather, craft a torch is in there. And because I just killed that tiger, I, I actually have the materials. I needed fat for that. So I'm just going to craft it now, just in case I get killed and I lose all my stuff again. At least I will get credit for that. So we've crafted a new bow. We've scrounged up some more materials and we're back to the hunt again. Probably not going to hunt the elephant who is menacing my home and could probably stomp it very quickly because, well, hey, I built it, so it's not very sturdy. I think we may look for a little more softer target. Is that a hippo over there? No, it's another rhino. Is it? Is it a rhino? What the heck is that? Is that prey or predator? I think it's a rhino. Doesn't really, doesn't have the silhouette of a, no, that's a rhino. That's a rhino. Yeah, a little more softer target than elephant or rhino would be nice. Let's see what we can come up with out here. Okay, I got eyes on a zebra here who is holding relatively still. Uh, was holding relatively, oh yes, get the, oh no. Dang it. This may be a game that needs to learn the difference between challenging and frustrating. It's a very fine line in video games or any sort of gaming experience, which is the difference between... Oh! We got it! So that does not change my conversation, though. Um, there's a very fine line... Yeah, dramatic music can chill. We got it. There's a very fine line between a challenging game and a frustrating game and frustrating is no good. I'm okay with a challenge. I don't mind working for my quest, but if something is just darn close to impossible, that's, that's not fun. That's not something that I wanna do. So I did just nail that guy, which was well done. Um, took me a while to hide, meet, 
fat, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, not much out of you. I get more out of the tigers, frankly. Um, so hopefully this is a game that can walk that delicate balance between challenging and frustrating, because frustrating is just that. It's just frustrating. There are things that are too hard um, to the point where it's not fun. And ultimately, it, it is a game. That is, that is the whole concept of a game, is that it should, at the end of the day, it should be fun. So challenging versus frustrating. We'll see how this game fares out. And I am a long way from home, but I'm going to go home and dump all my stuff off and then see... Oh, explore the unknown is apparently the next part of our quest. Well, that I think we can probably manage. Um, we have finished the hunt. It took us a little while, and it took us yet another tiger death. Uh, what are we up to? Four out of six now? I think four out of six tigers we've killed. Um, I, I am just, in terms of tigers, I am an extinction level event on this island. There's my house way in the distance. So we'll pick it up again next time. I'm going to go drop all my stuff off and then we'll go explore the unknown. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours and we will see you next time.